Hey, it's Allison, and I have a special video today. I'm going to be interviewed by my daughters, Aubrey and Ava. Say hi. hi. <laughs> For Mother's Day. Uh, this could get interesting. It's just like carpool karaoke, but uh, we don't have fancy equipment. So, no. who wants to go first? Oh gosh, wait, I have to look. Wow, don't everybody go at once. <laughs> All right, Aubrey's I'm going doing, first. Well, I, I just had the first one. What's okay. the best trip you've ever taken? Um, the best trip I've ever taken was, ooh, this is a hard one because I really liked our trip to Australia. I think that was good for, our family, like everybody had something to do and it was a lot of fun. But I also really liked the Mother's Day trip we took to Mexico last year. I think that was really cool because it was kind of unexpected and last minute. And, can I pick three? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I also liked the trip that you and I took to Paris because I felt yeah. like we were big grown up girls and that was really our first adventure that we took together. So, those three. Nice. Um, what was the moment I frustrated you most when I was growing up? Oh. <laughs> I knew she was going to pick that one. <laughs> um, it's, it's right there. The moment you frustrated me most. Okay, I'm thinking of one in particular. So I came to pick you up at Emily's house one day, and you didn't want to leave. And so you threw a temper tantrum and basically threw yourself down on the ground in the yard and were just like throwing an all-out fit and you wouldn't get up. <laughs> so did we answer that one thoroughly um, enough? Mm, so yeah, yeah I, I, think think, I think that's the one that stands out the most to me was that day. Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, Aubrey's turn. What was life like for you at my age? At 20? Hmm. I think life was pretty easy at 20, honestly. I was still in college and um, I loved long breaks and just not really having a lot of responsibilities and I just really remember the feeling of being done with finals and knowing that summer was coming and that I just got to hang out with my friends all summer and uh, that's like a feeling you don't get much when you're an adult so I think that was the best part but yeah I was just busy with classes like you are I think a lot of the things that you do were probably the things that I did when I was 20 but yes it was good. It was a fun time and it was just a lot of freedom at that point, so. Yeah. What was the first year of motherhood like for you? The first year of motherhood was hard because you guys know I had Devin when I was 22. Yes. And I was a single mom and I had to finish school, so. Um, I finished college and then um, I finished in, actually in June because I still had one class left to take and then in August I moved to Texas with Devin and he was only six months old at the time and I lived with Aunt Andrea for a year while I got a job and got on my feet and found an apartment and bought a car and did all that stuff so the first year was really hard because I had to put him into daycare and figure out how to make everything work out. And just being a single mom was, was probably one of the most challenging times in my life. But it was good because I felt like I had lots of like one-on-one -on -one time with him and we bonded. And even though I didn't have much money, it was still the like, simple things in life were fun, like getting to go to Chick-fil-A once a week or just the, the little things were really cool back then, so. And I think I was young enough too that it didn't, I think when you're younger, things that are hard don't seem as hard. I don't know. But yeah, it was all good. And then your dad and I got married and everything got better. <laughs> um, there's more. Hi Craig, we're sitting in the driveway. Um, you want. <laughs> Wish or wish for most your for your kids. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> we're doing the video. We're we'll doing wait one more video. second. Yeah, no, we're almost done. Almost done. 
<laughs> Almost done. <laughs> okay. I'm just standing there. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. What do you want or wish most for your kids? <sighs> okay. So most for all of you is I want you to do something that lights you up. I want you to find something that you're passionate about and that you could do even if you weren't getting paid for it. So career wise, that's what I want for you. Uh, relationship wise, I've been praying for your spouses ever since you were little. So, um, hopefully that will all come to fruition and you'll have spouses that I prayed for you guys to have. Um, and I just want you guys to be happy and always to be close to each other and close to us and always want to hang out with us, which you do, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I want you to be happy. I want you to feel fulfilled. I want you to feel like you do things that, um, bring you joy and, um, yeah, that's what I want for you. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well then. Okay. Doing, so wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay so all right. one oh, last over. thing. Oh no. Okay. So can we all three say what our favorite Allison and Aubrey item is? Oh, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it too. <laughs> wait. Are you wearing yours? You're not wearing your no. necklace? I was just Oh, one. Ava's not wearing hers, but we're all wear we're wearing our Hannah the layered reversible hair. disc necklace today. Love so it. Yay. The girls love that they can go into the warehouse and just kind of take whatever jewelry they want. So mm -hmm. works out pretty well for them. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our special edition of um, Allison Gets Interviewed by Aubrey and Ava. See ya. Bye. Bye.